It's time now for County Wide, a presentation of Yavapai Broadcasting News. You'll hear about the interesting issues and happenings that affect all our lives. Here's today's County Wide. Well, good day and welcome to the program. It is County Wide, and I'm Brad Miller. Happy to welcome into studio a first time guest with us from Yavapai County Office of Emergency Management, uh, Emergency Management Specialist and PIO. Sarah Townsley is our guest today, and we say good morning. Hello to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for uh, coming in and uh, paying us a visit, especially the drive from the Prescott area to our Cottonwood area studios. We can do these on Zoom, and our listeners will know that we often do. It's so nice to sit and talk face to face like that. I agree. We all had enough of Zoom, I think. So some we may still do it. It is convenient, certainly. But we appreciate you doing that and coming over today. And you did so for a very important reason. Uh, the Office of Emergency Management. We've had various guests, probably a dozen times or more, uh, on this program, and we could almost do a weekly program because there's always so many things to talk about yes. in keeping our residents safe and prepared. Um, to call it wildfire season, which we're in the middle of right now. Doesn't seem to work anymore. It's always wildfire season, isn't it? Always, year long. Yeah, a fireman said that to me one time, and I thought, yeah, that that sounds uh, exactly right. But toward that end, uh, the emergency management, um, there's some new programs. There's some programs that uh, have come along and have gotten very well established that I'm sure our listeners will be familiar with. But there's a brand new one called Genesis See, I don't even have it right yet. Tell me, (laughs) what am I talking about, Sarah? Genesis Protect. (laughs) Okay. And this is uh, what? it's. So in the simplest terms, it is evacuation zones for the people of Yavapai County. Okay. And we're really excited about it. Okay. Now, when we talk about uh, evacuation zones, let's just use wildfire as our example. Okay. Just to kind of simplify things. If there is a wildfire impinging on, say, I live in Clarkdale, let's use that as the example. Um, I'll be alerted at a certain point. What is that what this is or how does this work? So the way that it works is, well, first of all, we encourage uh, all residents of Yavapai County to sign up for emergency notifications right. for their area. Right. And the main way that this works is if you go to, I believe it's www.ycso.gov. Okay. And you sign up for their emergency notification system, Everbridge. So let's say a wildfire breaks out and people need to be put on the set status, which is the you should be ready to possibly evacuate. Right. Um, On our end of things and YCSO's end of things, because we're together in this, which is awesome. YCSO, who has the evacuating authority for the unincorporated areas of Yavapai County, if the fire is in that area. Yeah. They will go into our side of Genesis and highlight the zones that need to be put on the set status. And then they will copy that link from Genesis and send it in an Everbridge notification, which is the emergency notification system. And And it'll come right to your phone. It'll come right to your phone as long as you're signed up. Right. It is an opt-in program. Right. Um, So residents do need to go to that website and opt into those notifications. And in the message, you will have a link to the Genesis map. Or you could just go to protect.genesis.com and you can look at the map there. There's a couple of ways. Yeah, Yeah. and I want to parse that so that our listeners get this information. There's going to be a lot of things. You might grab a paper and pencil to write some of this information down and get to these websites. And we will repeat them a number of times on the program because we want people – that's really what your department does is get people ready yes. for when something nasty is happening. You don't want to be looking up phone numbers at that point. You want to be ready, ready, set, go. Yes. <laughs> um, now, we've had uh, folks from your department uh, sit and uh, talk on the show about, I know, the Code Red program. That's that's gone. We're, this, yeah. Is this like the next generation of what that began? No. Or a whole I, different deal? From my understanding, Code Red was uh, another emergency notification system. So Everbridge took over for Code Red. Okay. So Everbridge is where we're at right now. Well, as technology changes and as mm-hmm. people uh, have different forms of communication, that's got to be something that's going to evolve probably quite often. Yes. Yeah, definitely. to get the latest and the best and the fastest and the, uh, the, the the most kind of desirable for the information people are looking at. Absolutely. Okay. We're trying to make it as easy as possible. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I go, I get signed up, protect.genesis, and spell that for me because it's not the traditional way to spell Genesis. Correct. It is G-E-N-E. 
A S Y S. Okay, so protect.genesis, G E N A S Y S dot com. Mm -hmm. And from there, that's just to get me get me started so that. Right. It'll take you to um, a map and it'll have a little search bar that you can type in your address and you just hit search and it'll take you right to your zone. So we recommend people, you know, know their zone for, you know, common places like work or school. Mm. Um, you think about and, home. You yeah, don't think home. about places you frequent. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Because wildfires can break out anywhere. You bet. You may not be home when things happen. Exactly. Okay. Talk to me a little bit about the zones. I looked at the website and um, I kind of played with it a little bit. I put in my home address. I put in the work address and saw two different things. Pretty impressive. Pretty quick. Um, fairly self-explanatory, I thought. But what is the significance of the zones? How were they determined, and what does it kind of kind of mean uh, for the person who you know is going to get that alert if an emergency occurs? Yeah, absolutely. So the zones were created um, in mind with all the local partners and agencies surrounding Yavapai County who deal with wildfires, floods, any sort of emergencies. So you're thinking um, YCSO, police. The all the fire departments, Prescott National Forest, sure. all those people. And it took about a month, and we would meet um, in every sort of corner of Yavapai County. Yeah. We'd meet northeast, southwest, and we'd meet with the locals there who really knew the county, that part of their county. Yeah, that's and who you want. Yeah. You we, bet. We took maps, and they divvied up all of the zones, and we said, we're not the professionals. You guys are. And... They drew on maps and we, you know, luckily we have an amazing GIS department at Yavapai County and they helped out too. And we were able to implement all of these zones and get them over to the Genesis people and they put it up and right. did whatever they do yeah. <laughs> to get it working. Yeah. Is Genesis like a national program that you've incorporated into the county or is it just local to us? So Genesis is local to, it's not I don't want to say this. It's not local to Yavapai County per se. It is. It's nationwide. It's a okay. company. Okay. Um, so we're, we're like a chapter. Yes, we are. We're okay. a chapter in their book. Um, I believe a lot of counties in California, okay. Colorado, kind of, you know, the main fire areas use right. Genesis, which was what got our department interested in first. Right. Um, we saw a preview on it. I believe it was either the Grapevine or Racetrack fire. Okay. And we got to play around with it a little bit, and that was sign, seal, deliver. We were we were hooked on Genesis. When you go, even as a layman, and go in and just kind of look at it for your own personal stake, uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, just what it, it, speed is everything in an yes. emergency, no matter what kind of a, it is. Uh, alerting people of what is happening and then updating them as uh, things develop, either better or for better or for worse, yes. uh, is critical. And that's you know kind of hard to kind of hard to do. So this seems like a, an extraordinary tool, uh, but again, you've got to sign up for it. It doesn't just kind of happen. And tell us again, uh, as we go to our first break, uh, Sarah, uh, how do I sign up if I'm listening right now? I want to be part of what you're telling me about here this morning. What do I got to do first? So the first thing you have to do is sign up for the Everbridge Emergency Notification System through YCSO. And Genesis, anyone can have Genesis. Yeah. You can download. There's a free app that you can get on your cell phone. You just go to the App Store and download that. Or you can go to protect.genesis.com and just Type in the type in your address in the search bar yeah, and pull yeah. it up, and so that that's very easy. But if you do want to get the emergency notification systems in those critical times during you know an emergency happening, we definitely recommend you sign up for those alerts because that will give you the link to Genesis. In I want to talk to you a little bit more about the zones and why they're important and how uh, um, for 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 the for the users how it's kind of divvied up. So we'll do that when we come back. Our guest is Sarah Townsley. Sarah's with the Yavapai County Office of Emergency Management. New technology to keep you safe, keep all of us safe, especially during this wildfire season, flood season in the wintertime, whatever season it is, whatever kind of emergency could uh, occur in Yavapai County. It's countywide. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. Life changes, then it changes again. Predicting the unexpected in life is impossible. That's why it's called unexpected. So when it comes to financial goals, our philosophy is don't predict, prepare. 
Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Matthias Sandoval. A job loss, change in health, or a loss of a loved one can have a big impact on your family's financial security. Let's work together to help make sure you're equipped for life's unexpected events. Call our office to schedule a face-to-face appointment. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Verde Solaire, your hometown heating, air conditioning, and plumbing company in the Verde Valley. And your trusted North Central Arizona Goodman dealer. Goodman is a name you can trust with the revolutionary Comfort Bridge technology factory installed into select Goodman gas furnaces and air handlers to ensure the entire system operates at peak energy efficient performance. Verde Solar offers free in-home estimates, locally owned and operated since 1983. Visit them at verdesolar.com. Better, cleaner, faster. Let's talk. That's the message from John Randall Murdoch, your local Farm Bureau agent providing a personal touch when making insurance and financial decisions. John will simplify your insurance needs while offering competitive pricing. Let's talk auto, home, life, and farm. Call John at Farm Bureau today at 928-649-8686, your Cottonwood Farm Bureau property and casualty insurance company. At Farm Bureau, they insure more than just farms. Welcome back to the program. Again, it's Countywide. I'm Brad Miller, and our guest today, Sarah Townsley, is here in the Yavapai County Office of Emergency Management. We're talking about one of the newest uh, uh, arms of protection that the uh, office has adopted, and that's the Protect the Genesis uh, system, protect.genesis. And again, the spelling of that's a little bit uh, unusual, G-E-N-A-S-Y-S, like system, genesis.com. And uh, you can uh, be signed up and be at the best, the utmost protection, the most modern way of finding out when there is an emergency in Yavapai County and how and when and if it uh, it could impact you. These zones, there's a zone map, and anybody who goes online takes a look will understand what I'm talking about very quickly. What is kind of the significance of of those? Why can't we just say, well, in Clarkdale, you'll have this. In Prescott Valley, you'll have that. And in Dewey, you'll have uh, this, that, and the other. I guess what the it's a little more difficult to define like unincorporated areas. Is, yes. is that kind of the key? Yeah, a little bit of it. Mainly when an emergency is happening and evacuation is needed, the main thought behind divvying up the zones the way that they were divvied up is points of access. We have to take that into account. And right. Sometimes you don't need to evacuate, like, let's per se, the whole town of Clarkdale. Sure, sure. <laughs> you know, and we don't want to cause, in, a, in an evacuation situation, you only want to really evacuate the people who need to be evacuated. Okay. Because um, otherwise, sometimes leaving your home is hard if you don't necessarily have oh, to. Oh, uh, well, sure. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, it can. we hear sometimes in an emergency, we can hear about people even being injured. Yes. Uh, e- evacuating. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we think about elderly people uh, maybe with mobility troubles. Yes. Where it can be an extraordinary inconvenience. and even uh, So it's no small thing uh, to issue that evacuation order. And, of course, there's many things that happen even before we get to evacuation. Oh, yeah. Uh, the ready, set, go, and just making sure which – you could be should be starting on uh, today if you haven't gotten that already. That's kind of another thing that we'll talk about a little bit later. So, okay, I get it. The zones help us kind of more um, specifically identify targeted areas rather yes. than just yeah using streets. If you're behind, if you're between Avenue A and City B, you know, and mm-hmm. all this, and it can be confusing if you're not familiar with the area very well. Absolutely, yeah. You know your zone, and off you go. Okay, I get it. That makes a lot of sense to me. Um, uh, there's this other part that I was looking at, and here again I pulled this from the website, and I was kind of studying some of this this morning. Uh, prepare plus emergencies plus recover. And that's something I'd never even thought about. We are always talking about be prepared, be ready. Again, wildfire or floods, kind of the biggest threats that we have on a regular basis in our part of the, uh, uh, part of the world. Uh, but the recover element mm-hmm. was something that had never kind of occurred to me. What does that What does that mean? Yeah, so we always say that disasters start local and they end local. Yeah. Yeah, so recovery is, you know, typically such a long process. Right. Um, I mean, e- even now, like, you think about, like, Hurricane Katrina. Right. I mean, they were in recovery. They might still be in recovery. Really, they kind of are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so when it comes to citizens, you can't really prepare to recover. But we want to make sure that people have the tools and the resources that they need to recover when a disaster strikes. Right. And the scope of it, 
those kinds of things unfold. I just watched a, a recent documentary about the terrible wildfires in California where mm-hmm. I think several dozen people were killed. Uh, yeah. They just couldn't get out in those full growth forests. And it was just, it was hard to watch. Um, but I thought it was important. I gained some lessons about it. And you bet I got some stuff ready that I just had neglected because we get lazy. We get forgetful, you know, whatever whatever the case may be. But that, uh, uh, when we talk about that kind of recovery, there's going to be so many different kinds of things. There was loss of life. The worst yes. of the worst happened uh, uh, happened there. Um, and so you you go beyond that. That's the worst and the utmost and the forefront. But you start talking about there's going to be road repair is going to be needed. Mm-hmm. Washed out, you know, uh, the waterways are going to be, have to be repaired and so on and, and things like that. Is that part of the purview of the of your department? With the roads and stuff like that, yes, technically, because we're under public works. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, when recovery, you know, you think of, like, people's homes, you know. Yeah. Are they going to be able to rebuild, um, you know, securing the finances and the loans to rebuild? That's another process. You and know? you have resources to help them with that. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. going through all of that. And simple things like getting clothes, you know, Mm -hmm. in food and just basic needs. That's a big part of recovery, making people feel safe about where they are again. Because when disasters strike, it can be a really unsettling feeling. Yeah, yeah. When, um, what was that phrase you used? Disasters start local and and end local. local. Yeah. That that encapsulates it, you know, kind of so well. Mm -hmm. If we think about things that happen in other communities, you kind of see it on the news, oh my gosh, and then the fire's out or it's more fully contained. We stop thinking about it when it's not local and it's not not here. We're happy that it's not here. Uh, But those folks, for some of them, the the real tragedies are just starting. Yeah. And uh, God forbid it happens. Well, it has happened here. But uh, that it should never kind of happen again. But it's comforting to know that your department is at the forefront of making sure that if it does, uh, we're re- we're ready. We've thought through some of these scenarios, and we're going to understand what people may need after the flames have been put out. Absolutely. When people have to put back the puzzle pieces of their life, you know, we want to make sure that we are able to give the community every resource we possibly can to yeah. help with that. I thought uh, the website, uh, the yavapiready.gov, I know we're throwing a lot of those out today, and we're going to repeat them in our last segment because we want you to have that information. But that's where I found that about the recovery piece. There's a mm-hmm. whole tab. Uh, it's a very uh, a, a good website. It's Thank easy you. to navigate, and, yeah, I, I found it very, very helpful. So take a look uh, at that, folks, uh, yavapiready.gov. About the recovery thing, and hopefully none of us will ever kind of need that, but it's good to know that it's been thought about, implemented, and put in place um, if and when any of us ever do. We need to take another short break, so we'll do that. Our guest today is Sarah Townsley, Yavapai County Office of Emergency Management. It's countywide. We're back right after this. Life changes, then it changes again. Predicting the unexpected in life is impossible. That's why it's called unexpected. So when it comes to financial goals, our philosophy is don't predict, prepare. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Matthias Sandoval. A job loss, change in health, or a loss of a loved one can have a big impact on your family's financial security. Let's work together to help make sure you're equipped for life's unexpected events. Call our office to schedule a face-to-face appointment. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Verde Solaire, your hometown heating, air conditioning, and plumbing company in the Verde Valley. And your trusted North Central Arizona Goodman dealer. Goodman is a name you can trust with the revolutionary Comfort Bridge technology factory installed into select Goodman gas furnaces and air handlers to ensure the entire system operates at peak energy efficient performance. Verde Solar offers free in home estimates, locally owned and operated since 1983. Visit them at VerdeSolar.com. Better, cleaner, faster. Let's talk. That's the message from John Randall Murdoch, your local Farm Bureau agent providing a personal touch when making insurance and financial decisions. John will simplify your insurance needs while offering competitive pricing. Let's talk auto, home, life, and farm. Call Jana at Farm Bureau today at 928-649-8686. Your Cottonwood Farm Bureau property and casualty insurance company. At Farm Bureau, they insure more than just farms. We welcome you back to the program. It's Countywide. I'm Brad Miller. And our guest today, Sarah Townsley, is with the Yavapai County Office of Emergency Management. We're going to repeat some of those websites and uh, information so you can jot that down and get signed up 
These uh, programs are terrific, but they don't work unless you opt in. So you do want to be a part of it, and you don't want to be trying to sign up. And what was that number again when uh, uh, you see smoke or uh, uh, the waters are rising? You want to do it way before that, like today on a beautiful sunny day. Um, Sarah, tell me again, how do I do it? Just as we did at the beginning for folks listening, I want to be part of the uh, of the Genesis program. I want to get signed up. What do I do? Absolutely. So the first step is to go to uh, YCSO's Everbridge um, and sign up for that. That's their emergency notification and that's, system. And that's the, the Sheriff's Office website. Yeah. So, uh, people, I think, yeah. have assumed that. We're just saying YCSO. But that, it's yeah. the Sheriff's Office website. So, okay. YCSO.gov. Um, and for Genesis, no need to sign up, really. Um, you can go on there any time of any day and look at the map and see what's yeah. going on. But it is protect.genesis.com. Yeah. And the spelling of Genesis is a little wonky. It's G-E-N-A-S-Y-S. Right. You mentioned something during the break I thought was interesting, since that is a national program. If you're signed up locally... And you go to another part of the country, say, that is signed up and there's something that happens there, you'll get notified there too. Yeah, yeah. As That's long pretty as you're cool. Opted yeah. in for the Everbridge messages. Yeah. Yeah. You could be sitting on a beach in Hawaii and. Well, I wouldn't be. <laughs> get a text and see that, you know. I'd be, oh. I'd be picking up crawdads in <laughs> North Texas. There you go. But they can have fires there too. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Sarah, thanks for talking with us. It's been terrific. So much good information. And again, those websites. Uh, YCSO uh, is a great place to kind of start. The Sheriff's Office website, yavapiready.gov. Take a look there. It'll really help you kind of plant some seeds um, about different kinds of things. Are you uh, ready? Do you have your papers, pets, and all that? We're going to talk with Sarah a little bit more about that uh, in our uh, in our next segment. But get prepared today. The Emergency Management Office uh, the Yavapai County, uh, they have got, put it all together for you, and uh, it's ready for you to grab onto and uh, make it uh, make it part of your life so that you're ready to go in uh, the event of an emergency. Sarah Townsley, thank you so much. Thank you. Good talking to you. I'm Brad Miller. It's Countywide, and we'll see you next time. This has been Countywide. Listen in each Tuesday and Thursday at this time. If you have a topic or guest idea that you'd like to suggest, email us, news at myradioplace.com.